Hi, welcome for RTL online trainings and placements in Oracle Cloud Technologies. If you are looking for any online training or classroom based out in Hyderabad, in financials, HCM, supply chain management, fusion technical with OIC, and Oracle EBS technical, you can please contact with us. So in this session, I'm going to talk about, it's one of the important question in the interviews, uh, Cloud HCM, human capital management. How can you update the employee hire date? Once you hire an employee, uh, by mistake, you have given some wrong uh, date that we want to go for update. Is it possible? If possible, can we update the hire date? Different scenarios, again, can we update with the previous date, backward date? Can we update with forward date or not? So these are different scenarios, uh, two different scenarios we are going to check now. Let me hire an employee here. So I'm going to hire an employee for today date. Let me go ahead with the existing legal employer, US1 legal entity. So I'm going to mention here, Ramesh Kumar, gender is male. Let me go with and go for national identification number. You click next button. Higher date I have given 31st January 2023. Right. So let me go with the uh, home address. Now we are entering into the employment information tab, which is very important because there itself will specify the assignment details like business unit, job, position, grade. This I'm going to specify the position as clerk. Then automatically the job, grade, ladder, department, location, other properties means attributes will be populated over here. I'm going to mention who is the manager. So I'm going to specify the manager details here, Curtis Fitty. Line manager, I'm going to specify. Now click next button. You must enter a value for the location ID. For example, you must enter only number in job ID field. There is some problem in the job here. When you go for, you know, the, some job task here. So I don't want to synchronize the information from the position. Let me go ahead with this change. I'm going to say that job name is uh, recruiter. Let me go ahead with this. There was some problem in the location. I have changed the location. Now it's working fine. So now we are going to complete the employee hiring process here. Let me submit for this. Now employee name is Ramesh Kumar. That's the employee name. Once we complete the process, if you want to hire an employee, make sure that uh, you have the access for the role called uh, human resource specialist must have access for the role called human resource specialist. Then you will be able to hire an employee successfully here. Now let's go to person management.
Ramesh Kumar. This is our employee, what we have done. Now, what is the hiring date for this employee? 31st January 2023. So actually this date is uh, 1st January or something, let's take uh, March 1st, 2022. That's what backward date we want to go for update. So we go to the task list here. This personal and employment, nothing but our global HR actions. What we are trying to do is, so let's go to the option called work relationship. Go to work relationship here. Now go to actions here, edit. We can find a higher date. That's I'm going to make it as so March 2022 first. That's what I'm going to specify. Save. Then go for submit. Now we have successfully updated the higher date for the backward date. Let me check the 6384. That's the person number. Let's go back. Enter person number and click search button. Then we'll come to know here. Click on this. Still, it's not updated. Still, we have 31st January 2023. Still, it is in progress. It takes a couple of minutes time. And we have to go back again. We can also verify from here, work relationship. Yeah, still, it is not updated. Okay. So there are different uh, scenarios uh, we have. This is what uh, we have discussed. Uh, move date back in time. So higher date is so-and-so date. If you want to give the back date, you can perform. And the expected result will be the start date for both employment records, including child records and person records. Same thing, move date forward in time. In case uh, if you want to go for forward, for example, uh, this date we have given, we want to transfer this to so-and-so date, it can happen. The expected result will be the start date uh, for both employment records uh, and person records, it will be moved. Move higher date forward with intervening assignment change. So we hired an employee on 2013, assignment changes on 2013, so and so date. Uh, we want to go for change the higher date. So what will happen? So already assignment uh, date is this, right? 2013, that also is supposed to be changed. Not only the higher date, assignment change also is supposed to change, right? So assignment records exist prior to the higher date, it means you hired an employee and you have done the assignment. Then later you came to know that uh, there is a problem in the higher date. Actually, that is, needs to be given as a future date. If you give the future date, what will happen to assignment date? Employee has joined on 1st January 2014, but assignment is in 2013 only. So that is wrong, right? Then in that scenario, you will get an error. Assignment record exists prior to the higher date. Either delete the assignment record or change the higher date. Or change the higher date. I'll make another video for this. In this video, I'm going to take uh, only two use case uh, scenarios. Uh, there are around uh, uh, 15 to 16, I think 24, 27 scenarios. I'll try to make it maximum, whatever is possible. But this is how uh, we can do that. Uh, the changes for a higher date whenever we are doing from work relationship. Let me take this employee, cross check this. Yes, it has been changed March 1st, 2022. This I did it for backward. Let me take another employee. Uh, I don't want to go for again a hiring employee. Let me take existing employee. Ajay Kumar is there. So this Ajay Kumar has uh, joined on 29th, 1st, 2002. How about assignment? Assignment uh, start date. 
it's in uh, assignment status is active. This is hiring date. And go back here. Employment information we have right now. Work relationship. So January, what is the hire date we have here? 29th January 2002. So I'm going to edit. Ajay Kumar hire date as future date 2002 February 13. I'm going to make it. It's a primary work relationship only. Save. Then go for submit. 13th February 2002. Means I have changed the higher date for future date, forward date. So we have seen the previous scenario. Move date back in time. Now we are going to work on this. Move date forward in time. So that it will change the start date for both employment records, including the child record and person records. Let me cross check once. Now we can see that it has been updated successfully. Okay. So this is how we can go for uh, change the employee hiring. So remaining uh, scenarios, I uh, will try to make it another video on this. Okay. Thank you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget. And if anybody is looking for a placement and real-time training and all, please contact uh, our admin person. They will uh, provide all the details. Please communicate this number. They will be able to provide on this. To get the videos based on your domain, what you can do is go to playlists and you can check this here, uh, EBS Technical, Supply Chain Management, HCM. So domain-wise, you can find here. Okay. Thank you.